On Friday, we lost an American icon, Chadwick Bozeman, passed away from stage four colon cancer. And the entire time, we never knew about his fight. So let's talk about his life and his legacy and what he's left for us to look to, to challenge ourselves. See you on the flip side. Welcome to the Brand and Hustle podcast, the no fluff, no bull broadcast for busy entrepreneurs who need fast, effective business strategies. Get ready to build your business, your brand, and your bank account with master brand coach, Jay Stone. Good morning, Game Changers. By now, you have all heard the sad, sad news of the death of Chadwick Boseman. Uh, He is the American actor that starred in Black Panther. He was the Black Panther. But he also starred in so many other other films like, you know, Thurgood Marshall and James Brown and um, Jackie Robinson. And so this is an immense loss for the American community, uh, particularly the African-American community, because he represented so much uh, hope on screen. He represented so much success on screen. I mean, he depicted some of the most successful fictional and non-fictional characters that African Americans have seen in this country. And Black Panther, of course, was a worldwide sensation. In fact, it it changed our culture forever. Uh, when we talk about greatest cinema opportunities, I mean, excuse me, great, greatest cinema uh, wins, you know, Black Panther, you know, nominated for so many awards, um, the artistry, the wardrobe, all of these things. And so for him to be intricate part of that project, uh, it was immense, right? We were walking around for months, probably even over a year. It's been years. And we still say Wakanda forever, right? We still say Wakanda forever. So let's talk about legacy, right? Let's talk about legacy. So we know that Chadwick portrayed many historic figures, you know, who had immense legacies, you know, people like James Brown, people like um, Jackie Robinson and Thurgood Marshall, and they had, they left behind these great legacies. And he, as an actor, portrayed these people that changed uh, the world that we live in. And he portrayed these people. He portrayed these people between his surgeries and chemo. So he was diagnosed four years ago with stage three colon cancer. And uh, over the next four years, he had surgeries, he had chemos, he had treatments, and it progressed to stage four. And in between all of that, he shot these iconic films. Wow. Wow. Can you imagine having that level of dedication, that level of commitment to your craft. So let's talk about commitment, right? Commitment is what creates the legacy, right? Because you have to be committed and dedicated to something bigger than you. At stage three, Chadwick understood that he had a fight ahead of him. At stage four, he understood that the fight was even greater. And even in all of that, even in fighting for himself, it was important for him to have a commitment to commit to something bigger than his own fight. He would put his fight aside periodically to show up in his craft to build this legacy. You know, 
And of course, I'm sure earning income was part of it. But with the success of Black Panther, come hither, brother. You did it. And so can you imagine putting your personal challenges aside? Your physical pain, your emotional pain, your financial pain, your social pain. Can you imagine putting that aside for a moment in time to contribute to something greater than yourself? Well, if we think about it, all the people that we admire who have left a tremendous legacy, most of those people have done that at some point. So you have to ask yourself, what is my commitment level? right? What is my commitment level to something bigger than me, right? What is your commitment level to changing the world? What is your commitment level to building a legacy and creating general generational wealth for your family or breaking a generational curse? What is your level of commitment? What is your level of commitment? Um, I think most of us, most of us are c- at the core selfish, right? It, and it's not a bad thing. It's, it's human instinct, right? It's core instinct. Protect yourself. Take care of yourself. Deal with you, right? And we have to grow in our humanity to the point of being sacrificial. We have to grow in our humanity. Now, I'm not advocating, you know, not taking care of yourself or not put paying rent or things like that to have it. I'm not doing I'm not saying that. I'm saying in those moments when your basic needs are taken care of, can you take a moment to do something for someone bigger than you? Can you create to a larger cause in those moments? when you have what we call excess, right? Because I'm a firm believer in that we give from our overflow, right? I don't believe that you should be um, in deficit when you do the giving, okay? So I just, I want to make sure I clear that up. I don't believe you should be in deficit. However, in those moments when you have excess, but you have pressure on you around other things, can you then turn and give and create a legacy, a legacy, a legacy? That's the question that I think all of us have to dig deep. And we don't have to ask how Chadwick lived. We saw that, right? We saw how he lived. He lived big and bold and out loud and through his dreams and through the characters that he played. He lived, he lived, he's 43, but he lived. What we have to ask is not just how we live, but also how we die. And he, knowing that he was in the fight for his life, moved with grace and dignity. We, we didn't even know about this. We didn't even know that he was having this battle. He had a very quiet, dignified battle with cancer. And that in and of itself is moving. That in and of itself is, I don't know, heroic, heroic. I think that he has become to us the very characters that he portrayed, which is a true American hero. So this is my tribute to... Chadwick, Chadwick Bozeman, a.k.a. King T'Challa, the Black Panther. You done good, brother. You done good. Rest in peace, Wakanda forever. Don't worry, there are more episodes of Brandon Hustle on the way. But if you can't wait to learn more badass business strategies, head on over to jstone.com. That's J-A-I-S-T-O-N-E dot com. We'll see you next time.